And yeah, here we are on Behemoth, which is uh, a 4v4 arena map with vehicles. So as you said, it's super exciting to have vehicles back in the arena space. It, to me, it just helps bring extra variety into that 4v4 experience. So the first thing I'm gonna do, so training mode, it's a pretty simple experience. Once you get in here and play it, but it's hard to kind of communicate it. It's an unlimited bot slayer match. You can go in at any time and hit the pause menu. And this is different differentiation. You see this setting here, training options. Players might have seen a hint of this before in earlier trailers. And in here, you can go in, customize your loadout to whatever you want it to be. So I'm gonna myself a sniper rifle, uh, maybe a BR as well. Uh, I'm gonna go, let's stick with the frag. You can do primary, secondary grenades, set the equipment. I'm gonna give myself the grapple shot. But because I wanna show off the map, uh, I'm gonna go in here, you can set the number of friendly and enemy bots, and that goes, you know, zero all the way up to three for friendly bots or four for enemy bots. Uh, you can tweak their difficulty as well. Reveal enemy location. Basically what this does is it puts a little nav point marker over every enemy on the map so you can actually see where they are through walls. That's super useful if you just want to, because the bot behavior is dynamic, you don't actually control it. Uh, if you wanted to like focus on uh, your accuracy and things like that, I found that to be a really useful tool. Uh, play fighting is sort of similar to the experience in the tier three weapon drills where the bots will engage in their combat behaviors, but they won't actually shoot at you. Uh, I'm going to leave that off because at least when I'm playing, I like them shooting at me because if you're getting de-scoped and stuff, you can kind of learn how to play around that. I'm going to turn infinite ammo on. Uh, and, you know, there's this other little feature at the bottom. We're going to ignore that. That's just, you know, for streaming. Oh, room. I don't need that. I, I don't that, need uh -huh. that. It's just, you know, it's just something for the kids. Wait, so you're on recruit? Well, you turned the bots off for now. Uh, the so bots are off for right okay. now. So I'm just going to hop over here. You see man cannons. Yeah, let's give the community what they want. I, 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 I assume people would love to get a closer look at this map. So I think maybe why don't you just you're gonna give us a little tour. Yeah, so I'm right? going to just drive over here because I found that like the skybox in this oh, map this is, is just it's absolutely amazing. Absolutely gorgeous. It's a good mixture of like this sort of desert terrain, forerunner aesthetic, palm trees. What more can you want? Uh, it just it looks fantastic. I love the new kind of forerunner aesthetic, aesthetic we're using in this game. So. The uh, map's kind of like a, I kind of see it, it's a little bit of sand trap, you have the, the aesthetic, good vehicle play, a little bit of Valhalla with the two bases, although in this case, the bases uh, actually face away from one another. Um, but you have this ring on the outside, you can just drive around, it's just fun to do laps, help to pick up buddies on flag runs. Um, it's just, it's, it's a super fun space to drive around. I'm also gonna pop up here so give you a little demo showing off the base. Uh, there's two levels of the bases. There's a grav lift from the lower level. So man cannons, grav lifts, warhogs, oh my, it's the best Halo stuff. It's everything I love about Halo. And I want to give a shout out to uh, Tyler Insrud, who was the uh, level designer on this map. He's just done a great job from the very first uh, take on it. I've just fallen in love with this level. So you have this little path down the middle, which is a great shortcut, love but- a sneaky path. But you better be prepared because you can get shot from every single angle. So if you're coming down here with a flag, just be prepared. Um, and yeah, so this map's just, it's just a lot of fun. And I know when we showed it off for the first time, a lot of players thought perhaps it was a BTP map. So, uh, but it's, it's designed around 4v4, a lot of opportunities for, you know, using your grapple shot, using vehicles. Vehicle play is just super great. But also if you're on foot, you have a lot of opportunity for grabbing cover. Uh, and you know, doing your best. So I'm gonna turn the bots back yeah, on so we can actually, I can train for a little bit. Yeah. I'm gonna turn the friendly bots on, enemy bots. I mean, marine difficulty, I, you can do a little better than that, right? I think we can. Let's, let's bump it up to Spartan and I mean, see what we can Sarah do. As Sarah pointed out, the bots are a little more lethal now. They, they've, they've been training hard since July as well. That's right, so the, the bots are back, and you see they, they join. I think I turned the Trying to remember if I turned the uh, the reveal enemy location on. Let me just double check that to make sure because I think that's gonna help the time to combat come in. Okay, so now you got a little extra intel. Oh, oh so they just used the shot grenade on me. Right I'm off, gonna retreat. Right out of the bat. I'm gonna retreat and run away. By the way, you know the same arcing effect the shock rifle generates that the dynamo grenade is gonna do the same thing to, to great effect. I might add. Yep. All right, so I'm going to swap to Plasma. Where did you come from? For the record. Oh, wait, I was going to say I haven't died, but I forgot. I said it to deathless. I was feeling pretty good about wow, myself. Yeah. You haven't died. Imagine that. <laughs> 
that first encounter, I felt like I should have uh, died there. So I'm just going to grab cover here. Not doing too good. I'm going to try to These escape. Are relentless. Yes. You see how quickly they're going to shred my shields. You know, so as, I'm just going to update something. Uh, I'll mention something that Sarah spoke to in her segment. Um, you know, once the bot arena playlist is live in the flight, it'll be a, it'll be a mix up of different difficulties on the opposing squad, right? So yep. this is great. If you just want to come in here and warm up, by the way, you can do it. Um, lots of opportunities to do that, including customizing the difficulty. So uh, they're using the shock rifle. They are. Well, it's good. That's my favorite thing. I don't know if anyone noticed. Like, I was... They looked like they were going to take me down, and I just swapped to make sure I had rockets, and that always feels good that uh, you have the upper hand. It's you not know, cheating, too. It's the mode. You know, another thing that we didn't I didn't really mention at the outset, which we did mention in the blog yesterday, is when the flight does go live, um, you know, one thing that's going to be different this time around is we're going to have specified play times. Um, yep. So we have, essentially, the plan is that we'll have two four-hour windows each day where matchmaking will be available. Um, now, outside those windows, though, you will still be able to play Weapon Drills and Academy. So um, this you know, training mode will be available 24-7 for the duration of the flight. Come on, that was a pretty good shot. Give me some credit for that one. It wasn't bad. Whiffed I on mean, that one. But it's funny. You can just pop in here. You can tailor the experience however you want. I'm going to use this grav lift here, which is a classic sneaky route. Uh, also, you get to turn the infinite ammo. Not only gives you infinite ammo, you might notice I have infinite grenades. I also have infinite equipment charges. Well, fun. So if you want to live out your arachnid superhero fantasy, you can do that. Uh, I'm not going to do it because I'm not as good as some of the guys around here that can basically just grapple all the way around the map. He doesn't know I have rockets. Oh, whiffed. Are you still deathless? I am totally no. still deathless. <laughs> <laughs> it makes me look good, though. The, I feel like the audience might have forgotten at this point. But yeah. this is also a good opportunity, I should point out. I'm not doing it here, which is terrible. To just learn the map, learn yep. the weapon placements, stuff like that, yep. in a way that you know, you're in control of. Oh, you were, you were definitely super combined <laughs> there, by the way. No doubt about that. But, yeah, at any point, you can go in here, hop back in here, adjust anything you want to. I'm going to make myself not deathless so you can see how quickly... I'm going to die. It's going to be painful. I feel like with training mode, I could finally maybe make my own montage of just doing sick plays. It, it uh, would be honestly, against, that's it would be when deathless I, against recruit bots, that's but I, I can, I'm I can do a cool montage. I'm looking forward to that. I think this is going to be a place where people can just really experiment with the sandbox, see how far they can push it, and try to actually do that uh, for reals when the, when the game comes out and do something crazy. Yeah, by the way, they did melt you. You weren't, you weren't joking. <laughs> Uh, one thing I should mention that uh, I didn't mention weapon drills, we have updated some of the quick tips to do a better job of communicating weapons with alt fire. For example, the Ravager, you can hold the fire button down and it'll do damage over time. So I think I'm going to get one more kill. I'm yeah, get one more kill and then we'll take us we'll out on a high note. Do something, do something truly epic here. No okay. pressure. Uh, oh, I didn't get credit for that, but I think my friendly bot must have gotten the kill. Here we go. That's a team game, right? Oh, no, oh. look at that. I'm going to get one kill. Pesky shame. If I die again, we'll call it, and I will exit the stream in shame. I mean, we could just keep going. We'll be here all night. I don't think anyone wants that. There I just put go. the controller okay. down. That's a good one to I end on. I got a kill. A good one to end on. 